hey what's up guys and uh, I'm back with a new video today I'll be showing you how to install the latest version of hydrogen OS that is a beta version uh, 4 which was released on 28th of March and it also has many new features which I'll be telling you later after the installation and uh, so first we'll start with the installation and guys you can download the files in the description below and uh, I have mentioned few files in the description which are required if you want to remove the Chinese app and install Google Apps do check the description and download the files I have also mentioned the file uh, the main firmware file of uh, Hydrogen OS you can download from there uh, so guys I'll show you uh, the file of hydrogen OS which I have downloaded this is the file guys and the size of the file is 1.35 GB and if you guys want to install this you can install via three methods one is with the TWRP recovery the second one uh, you can install with the stock recovery also and if you want to install using a ADV side load you can do that also but I have TWRP recovery installed on my device so I'll be using TWRP recovery to install that so let's start with it and first I'll reboot my device to recovery so once your device uh, boots to TWRP recovery you can uh, push those files to internal memory which I have mentioned in the description below download those and you can place it inside the internal memory and after that is done what we do is first we go and do a factory reset of the device we go back and locate the files which I have downloaded so the first file I'll be installing the main uh, OS that is uh, hydrogen OS beta version 4 so once this is done I just swipe to confirm flash and we'll wait for the process to complete So once the process gets completed guys you can just wipe caches and reboot your system. Don't flash anything right now because if you flash anything now then you will not be able to bypass the setup wizard. So what I'll do is first I'll complete the setup wizard. I'll reboot the device and complete the setup wizard. Once that is done then I'll come back to TWRP recovery and I'll flash uh, dbloater zip file which will remove uh, all the Chinese application from the device. So I just reboot the device and wait for device to boot up. So once your device boots up, uh, we'll quickly uh, complete the setup wizard now. So now the process has been completed. We again boot to recovery and we'll flash that zip file. This one you need to flash for uh, removing Chinese app. So we just flash the zip file. And once the process is done, we wipe caches and again reboot the system. So now your device uh, boots up again. So what we do is, first thing we'll do, we'll install uh, all the Google apps. And guys, almost all the apps has been removed. Uh, Chinese apps has been removed. These applications, you can just uh, hold these applications, uninstall them. Or you can directly go to the settings and uninstall these uh, files. So what we'll do is now we'll uh, install uh, Google Play Store. To install that you need to uh, again require few files. So after those files have been downloaded you can place them to internal memory. And I have still not placed it so I'll just transfer those files inside the internal memory and show you guys how to do. So now I have uh, placed those files uh, inside internal memory and we'll start installation of uh, Google Play services. So for that we go to file manager and I just locate my file. 
so first we what we need to do is we go to settings and enable uh, unknown sources so that we can install applications so after this is done we go to file manager and we locate the files you can see i have uh, google installer 2.0 so I'll install this first and once it is done I go back and locate the other files this Google installer 2.0 is outdated and uh, it won't help you out in installing applications so for that you can use the method which I'm using right now so what we do is I have downloaded all the files Google account manager and uh, Google Play service everything is uh, downloaded here and I have shared the link in the description below you can use the same files to install so what we do is we go back and open Google installer once the process starts and you get an option of uh, Google service framework you click on install and you get an error over here so to rectify this error you go back to file manager and you install Google service framework first and you again go back to Google installer so you can see the application has been installed now and the next thing what you need to is the same thing for all the applications Google account manager also you can do the same so we go back here and we, you can install Google account manager and go back to this application so I'll quickly complete this process and show you guys after this so now you can see uh, all the files have been installed properly and you go back now and you can start using your Google Play services. Yeah. So you can see my Google account is uh, accepted now and I just update the applications which are required. The Google Play Store has been uh, updated. Google Play service also has to be updated. So I'll just update these applications. If your contact doesn't get synced, you can just uh, go to settings and give permission for all the apps like uh, Google contact sync and everything and just reboot your device everything will be working fine so now we'll check uh, what new things have been added in this so first we go to settings and show you this is a beta version 4 open beta version 4 of hydrogen OS and the security patch is 1st March 2017 and uh, it is based on Android version 7.1.1 so first thing what is uh, noticeable is that we have pixel launcher now on this device and uh, along with the pixel launcher you also get uh, app shortcuts you can long press few apps which are being supported by uh, app shortcut feature and uh, you can use them so messages is also supported now so you can just check it out and go through I'll also try to update you guys which all apps are uh, supporting app shortcut and one more thing guys main thing which I liked about this is uh, the animation of dash charge and the sound when you connect your charger and also the charging icon is changed now in this version so I'll show you the charging icon you just connect your device and you can see the charging icon has been changed the dash charging icon and if I just lock the device and show you guys the sound sound and the animation together I'll show you so you can see the animation what comes up uh, after connecting your device to so this is the thing which I really liked and uh, it is a cool feature uh, in hydrogen OS so next thing what they have added is night mode can be automatically opened according to the time so that I'll show you we go to display and we go to night mode here you get an option of turn on automatically so if you select these two options uh, like turn on when the sun sets uh, turn off when the sun rises so you can select this or else you can select your customized timing and you can choose according to your requirements other option what they have added is they have also added a traffic and speed status bar so in this uh, in this status bar you will be able to uh, monitor your speed of your Wi-Fi or the data network what you are using so you go down and you get an option of display network speed 
so you can see it shows here network speed and uh, this feature was not available in hydrogen before so this is the second change and uh, few customization options have been done like uh, they have enhanced the freeze mode and change start logic for background applications now you have better performance as per what they say and let's check out after uh, using it uh, for now i'll tell you few more things which have been added in this the next thing what they have added is in the file manager so in file manager if you go to any of the file which you have you can secure that file using secure guard so you click here and you can set as secure if you set as secure this file won't be available here so we'll just check it out set as secure and you can see that file has been removed from here and now if you want to check that file you go to secure box you need to set a pin over here and again reconfirm the pin and you have i have already tested on two files before and this is the third file which i am showing you guys so this is the thing which they have added and now uh, coming to display they have uh, changed few things here wallpaper section has been redesigned next if you again click on settings here oh, one second if you click on settings here uh, icon icon pack also has been replaced to settings here because this is in uh, pixel launcher what they have been using and the app shortcuts you can enable from here and if you don't want the app shortcuts you can just disable this but i really like that feature of app shortcuts so i'll be keeping it so shelf remains the same and as per change logs they also say there are uh, improvements in the camera which includes enhancement of anti shake effects few other things also guys uh, because i won't be covering all the things uh, it will take lots of time and i don't want to increase the length of the video so if i have missed out something you guys can let me know in the comment section let's see the performance how it works and uh, hope everything is stable in this still a beta version we can expect few bugs but let's check it out for a day uh, and let's see how was the battery life and everything so that's all in the video guys hope you like the video thanks for watching and do give a thumbs up if you really like the video and if you have not subscribed to my channel do subscribe to the channel so thanks for watching have a great day